Hi, welcome back. Although these tutorials are called double strung tutorials, I guess you've noticed that a lot of them are really applicable to single strung harp too, especially this one. It's for any harp, double, single, pedal, a lever harp, historic harp, and it's a way to smooth out a passage that has just been really helpful to me, and I call it the big scary monster. I'll be doing this demonstration on a little Eve 22 double strung lap harp. It's my favorite therapy harp. And you can find out more about the harp at the end of this video. Anyway, so the big scary monster is to take, say, let's say you've got a four note pattern or a three note pattern. Anything that's difficult for you, you're actually going to choose one. And when we pause the video and do the exercises, you'll use it on your passage so you can feel how it changes. So the big scary monster, I'll do a four note pattern here is when you take one of those strings and make it really loud and then the other ones are virtually silent like there's a big scary monster and then the other ones are trying to sneak away silently so in this passage I'm going to do the first string it can even sound bad I pulled that so hard it sounded terrible again the other ones are silent practically then you take the next string and make that the big scary monster Silent, big scary monster, silent, silent. And you can go that slowly. And then the next string is the big scary monster. Silent, silent, big scary monster, silent. And then the last one is the big scary monster. Silent, 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 big scary monster. Whoops, that wasn't loud enough. Silent, silent, silent. Now, once you do that, you can play the passage and you will notice a difference in how smooth it is and how much control you have. When I pause the video, you're going to do the first string of your big scary monster hand shape. So if you don't have one, let's just do a four note pattern, a four note chord. So let's do F. A, C, and F. All you're going to do is place your fingers and just do the first pass through, which is big scary monster, silent, silent, silent. These are little mice trying to run away. So stop the video and do. Now here's the mistake most people make, is that it's really hard to do the first string loud and then make the next string right after that almost silent. So lots of times when you start doing this, it'll be, you'll go loud like that. But to make it work, you really have to make the big scary monster and all of these need to be the little silent mice trying to get away. So I'll give you a chance to try that again. Now do the next one in your passage. So the first one was, now you're gonna go. Now do the third string in your passage. So it'll be like. Do the fourth note now. Now go back and do the whole process on your particular passage. So, for instance, and then try playing it. So another example, let's say you were doing this passage on a single strung harp. You wouldn't do that on a double strung because it's like on a double strung you have two legs to run with instead of one. So, But let's say you're doing this passage, then make it into a six note exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
It's a big scary monster. It'll be one, four, five, six. One, two, three, 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 four, five, six. So I hope that was smoother for you. I encourage you to do the big scary monster on at least one passage every time you practice. It's very satisfying.